As the snow begins to fall, everyone's attention is turning to looking back at the year or the roller coaster year that was 2022. But Avenir Swiss is looking back much further than that to the last 175 years. Why? Well, because in 1848, 175 years ago, Switzerland became the federal state we all know and love today. But the differences between the cantons that forced us to take arms back in the mid 19th century are much more obvious in our cultural differences today. Cue the Avenir Swiss Freedom Index. They found that cantons that seem to do well when it comes to civil liberties, things like public safety, free choice of school, video surveillance, often struggle when it comes to economic liberties. That's things like tax burdens, shop opening times, and health of canton finances. And this is certainly true for Switzerland's youngest canton, Jura. In Western Switzerland, Jura is the top of the class when it comes to civil liberties, but near the bottom of the class when it comes to economics. And it's also true vice versa. In central Switzerland, Canton Zug, Niedwalden, Uri, Obwalden and Schwyz are pretty handy when it comes to running their finances. But they struggle to separate church and state, have more restrictive civil liberties and, as Avenir Swiss suggests, could do with more effective freedom of information legislation. Urban areas also struggle with civil liberties. Let's take Baselstadt and Zurich. Baselstadt has dropped in the rankings this year because of many reasons, including the maximum length of time video surveillance can be kept. The canton of Zurich, on the other hand, is bang in the middle of the overall cantonal rankings. A lack of efficiency in providing public security have in fact put it in last place for civil liberties. You can find out more about where you live and you can compare it with other cantons in Switzerland by heading to the Avenir Swiss website and the Freedom Index.